Everybody, hello, hello, and welcome back. I hope you all have had an amazing week and are sorry. I'm still setting up because I'm I got a little bit of a late start today, um, so I'm still doing a little bit of setting up, but uh, nothing too bad. Uh, hold on, there is come on, Steam, behave, damn. Steam was like, no, I don't want to open. I just don't. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys have been doing well, have been having a good week and are looking forward to a good relaxing weekend. And if not, I hope you all have a good weekend ahead in some way, shape or form, whether it's work or whatever. Um, Okay. All right. Anyway, do we before we get properly started? Hold on, just a second. I just realized there's one last setting I need to change. There we go. Um. Woo! And now I'm dark. Hold on. Let's do that. There we go. That's a bit better. All right. Anyway. Uh, before we get started, is there anything I need to announce? I don't think so. Um, nothing's coming to mind as needing an announcement. Um, sorry, I'm looking for something and I can't find it. Huh. Well... Oh, well, I'll find it some other time anyway. Um, but yeah, as I said, I hope you all have been having a good, uh, a good week, good time, etc. Um, I don't really have any announcements, but, uh, I, re I please check out the, uh, link tree for links to my socials and things like that, but also specifically check out that Patreon down there at the bottom. Uh, the Patreon you, is a place where you can support me directly and help me continue to make content, um, and things like that. Wom 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 up wom. Anyway, bum, ba -da -bum. we're gonna be jumping back into Night in the Woods uh, for the first time in a month. Oof. Okay. Hello, May. Wake up. Wakey, wakey. All right. Uh, we play some bass, but which song? Uh, let's warm up with some. Die anywhere else? Bum 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 bum. 
bum 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 Oops. Anywhere, just not here. Anyone. Anywhere, just not here. Oh no. Alright, we'll do another warm up. Um, what's your TikTok? TikTok on the clock. <laughs> a charity song from that weird bear thing Oh God.
I am bad at this like shit. Holy crap, I'm bad at this, I'm crap. So bad. God, I was bad. I literally do not know this song. All right, let's go see what our friend is up to. Okay. Away message from, um, fuck, I forget his name. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning, like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever is in the cooler. Last night inspired me. For the longest night, I'm getting you a library. For longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not going to do some Demon Tower. That's enough space for one day. Fine. Okay, that's where I found that tooth, which we found out was the tooth that had been taken by some people from a, uh, shit, um, uh, God, I'm trying to remember, uh, foreman or something like that. Some guy who was not treating their workers well, basically. Hey, bird, sorry I'm always rude to you. Do, do, do we have any detective books out here? Oh, of course, of course we do. Do we have any books about ghosts? Like real life ghosts? Do we have any books about, or nut jobs, I guess. No, this is good. Research is good. Confront the problem head on. You're not losing it, dude. You are in fact keeping it. Very close. Lol. Okay. Whee! Oh, that's right, I have to go down the stairs. There we go. All right. Hey, Ma. What's up? Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working, kind of not fair. Well, maybe you need more sleep? I mean, more than a, the 10 hours or so you already get? I feel called out. <laughs> I feel personally attacked. You've always been my sleepy girl. It's like they're cats or something. Oof. Oof, indeed. All right, just checking to make sure OBS is behaving itself. It seems to be... Everything seems to be going. Hold on, let me just check something real quick. Yeah, okay, we're coming through, okay. I don't know what, I don't know. It, I feel so rushed because I was so, because I was running late. I'm so worried that something is not right, you know? Or that I'm forgetting something. And I just, I just know I am, but I don't think I actually am. Everything I check is fine. Anyway. Uh, what did you do last night? Went to the library with B. Sounds nice. It was, it was very nice. Weird? Kinda interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hun. Take it easy, you really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Love you, ma. Nice and sunny today. I hate rainy days. Just want to never leave bed. I love them. Nice and gray. Sun's too bright sometimes. Need some cloudies. Gloomy little eel you are. <laughs> Eels, mom. Eels, honey. 
That's a good callback to earlier in the game. All right, I'm out. Bye bye, sweetie. All right. Wait a second. Is the construction work done? <gasps> the construction work is done! Yay! Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so we have a new direction we can go. Uh, but I want to check in with our normal peeps first, real quick. Actually, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm sorry, squirrel. Let, let's go see what's this way. What is this way? The bridge. <laughs> Welcome to historic Possum Springs. And it's just rolling fields and farms. I miss the corn mazes this fall and the haunted barn in Brittle. Always next year. For campfires and corn dogs. Okay, welcome to historic Possum Springs, original county seat of Deep Hollow County. You're not lost, you're here. <laughs> Weird that town ends like bam, right here. There's like a line somewhere that no one can see, but you can put it on a map. Yeah. Okay, so we can't go further than this. <coughs> Excuse me a second. While I just quickly... Sorry, I can feel myself needing to cough more. So I am just... I'm gonna take some generic cough suppressant. Ooh! Farming! I could farm. If I stay in town long enough, I could see getting into the farm life. Problem with farms is the amount of poop. I mean, that's the problem with life in general. Like, even if you don't have animals, you actually buy poop or something and shovel it all over the place. It's madness. It's poop madness. On the, there you go. Selmers! Hey, Selmers, you were great last night. Aw, thanks. Having you to bounce ideas off of helped. I'm good for that. Wanna hear a new poem? Sure! This is a short one, because I'm tired. Me too, so that works out. <clears throat> I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before too. It's crazy making. What were you doing at the library? I go to the library. No, but seriously. Play a mean banjo, Clawhammer. Really? I play bass. We should play together sometime. <coughs> you know Long Black Veil? Vale? Yep. You know Tom Dooley? Yep, my dad likes that stuff. <coughs> you know Willer Garden? Nope. Eh. Oh, we got people on the roof up here.
Wonder if the squirrels ever, ever steal undies. Hey, little girl. I am a legal adult. Oh, sorry. Who are you? Liz, I used to live here. Where? <coughs> this building right here before you were born. Why did you move away? Went to school, wandered off, I guess. Do you like it better where you live now? It's nice. Positive Springs is nice too. I think it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, pretty all right. When I was a girl, about your, I'm 20, height. About your height? <laughs> I used to lay awake at night, worried that statue would come to life and climb in my window. Oh geez, that's spooky. You never want someone hanging out around outside your window. Not magical evil statues at least. Yeah, nothing evil or magic could, or should get that close. I live in the attic, no one can get to my window. That's good. Not even vampires or warlocks or skeleton men. I'm glad we had this talk. Me too. See ya! <laughs> Vibes. Let's go steal a pretzel. Me thinks I spy a tunnel shark. Scary monster in the dark. Holy crap. I didn't really see it. Please don't listen. Oh, can't. Can't today. Ah, you're new. Whoa, hi down there. Ahoy there, May! <laughs> is that Mr. Salvi? What are you doing in a boat? In the tunnel. In the late afternoon. What are you doing home from school? You answer first. It's my side hustle. Salvi's salvage. What's that? I'm a junk man, May. Are you not mowing lawns anymore? Oh no, I'm still doing the landscaping, but I'm also a purveyor of fine goods for the discerning antique enthusiast. Okay, side hustle, yeah. <laughs> Wanna come along? Boat ride back into the tunnel? Gonna be a short trip today, but might be fun. Uh, sure. Uh, this probably isn't smart. It's pretty safe. I just need a second pair of hands. Usually I take one of the kids over here, there. Hey teens. I'm going to go on. I'm going on this boat now. Just saying, like, if anyone should ask. I got this on this boat with Mr. Salvi here. Okay, thanks. What was. Okay, let's go. <laughs> and lots of folks from somewhere else drive past between Fort Lucene and Willow Grove. And they like going to antique shops out here. I think they think it's exclusive or something. <laughs> yes, I have control of the spotlight. Could you tell? <laughs> <laughs> and that's the side hustle. Wow. They know it's garbage? It's not garbage. Sorry. Here, we're coming up on one now. You'll see. This is garbage. It's an island of garbage. Your garbage is my priceless antique. Once it's cleaned up a bit. Look around, find something. Is this thing safe to walk on? Oh yeah, years of sediment and rocks and junk. Haha, <laughs> you called it junk too. Find anything good? Nah. Oh wow, it's a thing. A sled? Really bad boat. Maybe you like sleep in it? Tiny garage hammock? Tiny garbage hammock. Should I take this garbage bed? Nah. Eh. Let's see what else. 
Huh, big axe. Do I want a big garbage axe? Yes. It's so big and axey. Okay, yeah. Should I take this garbage bed instead of the garbage axe? Ooh. I can only take one thing. Nah, I'm taking the axe. Find anything good? Killer garbage axe. Ooh, nice. Looks like an old fire axe from somewhere. Axe murderer garbage axe. Yes, you could conceivably murder somebody with this. Have to sharpen it first. Oh, I'll sharpen it. Planning on murdering somebody? I keep my options open. Oh dear. <laughs> and somehow he'd run over his own foot. No! With the mower. Ah! Ugh. Yeah, he's got a limp now. I At least he can walk. But he still comes to work. Jeez. Gotta work. Fucking capitalism. Okay, so remember how I said I needed a second pair of hands? Oh yeah, what was that about? So there's a panel, a little panel back where you are. Gonna need you to use it and move this light up here. Are we away? Why? We got bats down here. So, I don't like bats, but bats like bugs, and bugs like light. So you're gonna shine that light all around them, get them to scatter, looking for bugs. They mostly go away for a while when they scatter. Oh, okay. Now get ready, we're coming up on a place where they like to cluster together. Okay, I got it. Here we go, up above me. Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. I got them all, I think. Sure were a lot of them. Ugh, I hate them. But bats are cute. They are not. Can I take a bat home? Ain't no bat getting on my boat. Sooner swim back than have a goddamn bat in my boat. Okay, okay, okay. No bats. No bats. All right, we're coming up on another island. Garbage ho! Man, you don't have to... I mean, I know I am a garbage hoe, but you don't have to call me that to my face. <laughs> you gonna look around? No, I'm gonna hang out on the boat. Of course I'm gonna look around. <laughs> You're sarcastic like your dad. Do you still talk to my dad? Oh yeah, I get my meats from him once, in, once a week. Last fall, us and some of the boys from the factory days went up to Stutter's old hunting camp. You get anything? Ed Gress got a six point buck. Oh, nice. All right, let's go. We got a schedule to keep. All right, anything over here? Nope. What's this? Oh my God, it's a coconut monkey. Like the one granddad brought back from Hawaii. Do I want this coconut friend? Yes, I'm nah. Kind of stinky and soft. All right. Holy shit. Dracula teeth. These are so rad, I could totally be a Dracula. You don't want those in your fucking mouth. Of all the false teeth in the world, Dracula teeth are the best. Should I take these excellent Dracula teeth? Blah. No. No, I'm thinking the grandpa thing. I can get new ones for like a buck over at the Ham Panther. Exactly. I don't know if vintage Dracula teeth are that much of a find. Do I want the coconut friend? Yes, sir. Welcome to the family, Mr. Monkey. I love you so much, and we've just met. Find anything good? Coconut Monkey! Oh, wow. Is it still good? He's a little soft, and he smells like trash water, but when he's all dried out, he's going to be a regular member of the family. Huh. All right. You're not going to steal him for your shop or anything, right? Uh, no. Not even tempted? I think I can let this one go, May. And that's how I saved Longest Night. <laughs> wow. Did you ever tell your kids? What? No, it'd spoil the magic. Did they ever notice your neck scar? If they did, they never said nothing. Did the cops ever catch the guy? Oh no, he's still out there. But he ain't coming back anytime soon. Oh wow, great story. Alright, we're coming up on another boat nest. 
Do bats have nests? Whatever, get the light ready. Shine it up there and get rid of them. Aye, aye, sir. Here they come. Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. Got them good. Woo, thanks, kid. I'm 20. Ha <laughs> ha, well, at my age, that's plenty kid enough. Rude. Coming up on another island. How many of these are down here? Oh, I ain't counting. Seem to find new ones all the time and lose old ones. Spooky. We're pretty far back now. It's always a bit spooky. Whoa, old trolley car over there. Yeah, we're getting close to where the flood really hit hardest. Can't imagine this place still up and running. It was quite something. Had a sense of going somewhere. Yeah. Way back when they got these new trolley cars. They were designed by some company overseas. Big and fancy, like France or something. They are pretty. Yeah, they still got their charms. You gonna look around? Sure. What you got? 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 Okay, there's him. What's this? Oh, huh. Wonder how old this is. It's pretty soggy. What sport even is this? The sports mystery. The worst kind of mystery. It's pretty, though. Do I want this thing? Nah. Gross, and I don't care about sports anymore. Oh, nice. Football, our official religion around here. I could totally wear this. It's functional. I could totally wear this in the winter in case I slip on the ice. I could wear this if I was in a fight. Probably uh, could probably stop a bullet even. I don't know. It smells inside though. Do I want this thing? No, we'll go with the mystery. We'll go with the mystery. Get it washed out, see what it is. Yeah. And on the wall, that'd be pretty neat. Look up, what's it even for? Cool, cool, cool. Find anything good? I don't know. Check this out. Oh, wow. That's an old hockey pennant. How old? Like, really old? Uh, 70s, 80s? Oh, that's like medium old. We had a hockey team back then? Sure did. Ice Arena used to be out by where Ham Panther is now. Geez, so much stuff used to be here. Lots still here. But yeah, lots gone. Any more bats to get rid of? Nah, they don't come back this far to sleep. They, all, they fly around a good bit back here, though. Unless you clear them out before you get here. Where even are we? Almost too far. Uh, almost to the far platform. Oh, wow. That's where we're going? Well, you got rid of most of the bats back there. So maybe we can make one last stop at the big one. The big one? So I, I thank God I wasn't down here when it, the flood hit. The river jumped, right? The river jumped, right? Yeah, flood was bad enough. River just up and moved. Had something to do with the reservoir. I guess it was a while ago. Weird to think that rivers can move. Oh, they're always moving, kid. 20 years old. They're just usually moving in one direction. No one's really prepared for when it stops doing what it's always been doing. I mean, fair. Hmm. All right, here we are. The big one. Do, 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 do. The big one. Wow. This looks like something I dreamed or something. It's familiar somewhere. Back then, they thought the trolleys would stay on the track. Come a big flood. But nah, they went right along with the water. Bobbing up and down, crashing into big piles like this. Jeez. Can't fix something like this. What are you going to do? Dam up the river, dig the whole thing out? Nobody's got that money. Nobody got that time. This is like visiting some place beyond the grave, like where you go when you die. Some folks did die down here. Oh yeah. Well, that's solemn, somber, morbid. You gonna go look around? Have to say, not much back this far usually. All the stuff washes in from side channels, gets caught up back where we come came from. Yeah, I think I'll still look around. Wonder what this used to lock up. Really old lock. Pretty neat key. 
someone brought this to keep something safe or secret. Do I want to take this? Nah. It's just junk now and I got nothing to lock up anyways. Alright, let's see. I wonder, can I get on the roof of one of these trolleys? Okay, apparently not. Go on this one? Tuba! Wow, I wonder- or baritone. Wonder if it still works. They're probably cleaning all the mud out of it first. Do I want to take this? This or the broken lock? Yeah, we'll go with the tuba. It's really pretty. It should have someone to appreciate it. I wish I could take both things, you know? I want to take this more than the muddy horn. Find anything good? Horn. Looks like a pack horn, maybe. I'm gonna clean it out, maybe play it, or at least make it make some noise. Good plan. It's really pretty. Shame to leave it down here. You rescued it. I'm a hero. I'll call the papers. Here we are. Wow. Bar platform. Whoa. So that's it. That's the other mural. It's so... Yeah. Yeah. Basically the only thing back here that survived the flood. I just think it's nice that it's not gone. Yeah, I guess. Forgotten, maybe, but not gone. Well, not forgotten yet. I wonder if, like, in, like, 500 years, some archaeologists will find it. And what or what it meant. Sometimes I think in 50 years, no one will know what it meant. Places can't control how they're remembered. They just hang out and then fall apart. You okay, May? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm just going to look for a minute. Take your time. I love the ear twitch. Thanks for joining me. That was great. I could totally do that. this as a job. Oh no, a competitor. I'm gonna get me a boat and go find some trash and sell it to rich dorks. That's the spirit. Take care. You too, good luck. Man, that was a trip and I really enjoyed that. Okay, nothing back this way, so let's Can I? Nope. Okay. All right. Anything new on the board? Casey Hartley still missing. Check. Tim's landscaping. Fire. Firewood for sale. Awesome springs, more like awesome springs. Okay. All right, I have to go talk to mom at the church. Let's go talk to Bruce first. I think his name is Bruce. I don't remember, it's been a minute. Pastor KW Young. 
kind of cold, huh? Yeah, nip in the air at night. I like fall when it. I like fall when it gets cold. Me too. Real pretty out as. Real pretty out as well. I used to cry at fall trees when I was a kid. Why? Because they were so pretty. Mm. I did that when my daughter was born. You have a daughter? Yep. Where is she? Sorry. It's fine. Hey, Jen. Hey, May Borowski? Yeah. What are you doing back here? Does Greg know you're back? Nah, just here for a day. Had to pick some stuff up from Greg's mom. Hauling back to school tonight. Ah. Didn't you go to school? What are you doing here? Dropped out, kinda. Oh, sorry to hear that. Eh, whatever. What are you going for? I want to do fashion design. Is that a job you can get? Theoretically. You still go crossbow hunting? Greg used to have a crossbow too, I think. Yeah, I still hunt rabbits and stuff. Nothing big. Don't get much chance at school. I was shooting at that tree over there. Then I noticed there was a dude sleeping behind it. So I stopped. Smart. We don't need to accidentally murder the hobo. The homeless person. Oh yeah, that's Bruce. I was right, Bruce. He's nice. Well, I'm just glad I didn't accidentally put a bolt in his face. Oh yeah, that'd be bad. Well, it was nice seeing you. You still see Greg sometimes? Oh yeah, all the time. Well, tell that cousin of mine he needs to come and come see me out in Bright Harbor. Sure thing. See ya. Take it easy. Guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Quote Thomas Sanders. Okay. Jen, Greg's cousin, okay? <clears throat> hey, Bruce. Bye, Bruce. Sorry, I'm messing with my phone real quick. Okay. Uh, mom first. Hey, you free? Maybe? Wanna go on a quick adventure? Don't you have a job? Pastor's gone. I'm gonna skip out. Not right now. Oh, that's fine, sweetie. Can I ask you for it later? Or did I just fuck that up? No, I should've gone on the adventure! I wanted to go on the adventure. I just wanted to check the ho the place first. I think I'm going to try to cheese it. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm going to try to cheese it. See if it'll let me. I don't know how often it auto saves. Where did it drop me? Damn it. Maybe if I hadn't gone through the door. Can I talk to mom again, please? Please, please, please. No, I wanted to go on the adventure. Oh, well. Sorry, mom. Can I go back in and try? It was a not right now, not a not ever. 
please? Uh, I'm so furious. I didn't want to skip that. I just wanted to go see what else was in the church first. So mad. This... <sighs> this game is great, right? It's great, but I have one complaint with it. And that is that sometimes when you're just like, I don't want to do this right this second. Let me go explore a little bit more and come back. The game is like, oh, well, you've missed your opportunity forever. And it's just like, no, I just wanted to go check the other room real quick. Give me a second. You know, like, I will be back. I want to do this. Just let me go check that room over there. You know? But the game is like, nah. Nah. And this is not the only time that that's happened. There's been a couple of times where that's happened now. And I'm, it's the one complaint I have about this game so far. Anyway. Uh. All right, anything up here? Oh, hi. Hey. Hello. I'm May. Hello, May. I'm Salim. Are you a busker? Are you busking? What's busking? I don't know. I think it's when you play outside and people give you money. Are you going to give me money? No. That I'm not busking. Cool. Oh, shit. Like, one of those conversations happened with that kid. You know? <clears throat> this one up, up here. Right above me. I forget their name. It's like, give me a second. But it's like, you have to say yes to everything when you talk to them or else there's a chance you'll miss it. Drawing something? Yeah, drawing a bad guy for a movie. Have you like filmed anything ever? I made a little movie with my phone and I pirated some movie programs. It's real bad. What's it about? Um, lady finds a window in her wall that wasn't there before and it's like looking at her backyard but it's always sunny and there's a guy standing there she can't quite see geez that's actually kind of creepy really i am creeped oh, thanks i thought it sucked where did the idea come from i like a lot of horror movies that are really gory but gory isn't always scary so i was thinking of what's scary and i don't know you're at home but there's something new or maybe you just never noticed it before and there's someone strange very uh nearby and i don't know what nothing creepy all right i'm off see you later Gilla. How are my rat babies doing? My babies have left the nest. Ooh. Yeah, I see them all over the place now. I don't remember if they were there or not. I'm curious, is there any? I know that there is a down. Can I go through that? No, I can't. At least not yet. I'm still so furious that it won't let me go hang out with my mom again. Like, uh, I'm so mad. Thank you. 
Can't believe they just leave the banned stuff in there. What if someone steals it? What if the building falls down? I should start taking Greg's space home. Just, you know, in case. Oh, there's the old pickaxe. They're chatting about coffee. Uh, I'm so mad that it won't let me go talk to my mother. I said I could like take you up to the park. He did indeed. You ready to go? Nah. Okay. Let's go check on Greg first. <laughs> oh shit! <sighs> is a malt. Can I break it? Nope, but I can fall off. All right. Okay, so I can go upstairs through that. Excuse me. Hey, you never told me why you were feeling down the other day. Do I gotta tell you everything? Nah, nah, just asking is all. Well, ask someone else. Oh, their friendship's on the rocks. later okay well i don't think you're gonna get kidnapped or anything nah cool cool see ya again is that a final finale thing yep yeah, okay no choice damn how did he get over this thing i can't jump that no way he could have there's no hole how did he do it i mean i guess he could really be a ghost I think he is a ghost. Ugh. What's out there? Hey, germ. Bye, germ. Sorry, I don't want to hang out with you. Apparently, I don't want to hang out with my mother either. And apparently, it was a one-time offer, which I, which I wish this game would indicate to you sometime, somehow. Who are you? Do I know you? No. Oh. Aren't you Greg's cousin? You really look like his cousin. Not his cool cousin, Jen. Like the other cousin. No? Who are you then? Why are you here? I'm trying to find your city council. Town council. We're a town. Right. Why are you looking for them? It's supposed to be d uh, demoing an infrastructure and municipal services management program. What? Helps you manage things like snow plows and broken hydrants and stuff. Oh yeah, we have those sometimes. Just figured it'd be helpful. I don't know, there's... Uh, I don't know, lots of places are just scared of new things. Just want to keep things like they are forever falling apart. It's frustrating. Welcome to Fairfield. Uh, you are really into this, huh? I mean, it's my job, so... I had a job. I bagged groceries. Could you program something to make that job not suck? Well, soon it's all gonna be robots anyway, so... Jeez, yeah, huh. Not Fairfield. Possum Springs. Welcome to Possum Springs. I got it! You're Donna's cousin! Yeah! 
She used to babysit me. Oh wow, are you that the kid that called a bird that killed a bird with her mace? It was an accident, and I was like nine. <laughs> I thought it was perfume or something. I thought the bird would like it. Well, you were nine. It died like instantly. Just ah, whoop. dead. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well I'm gonna go. Good luck. Try not to kill anything. No promises. All right, Gregory. Oh, let's see. Anything else in here? No. Nope. Okay. What's up, kid? How's it snacking, Falcon? Snack Falcon! Falcons of the snacks! Just kicking it. Drank too much chocolate milk. And I was thrown up when the light bulb delivery came. I had to sign for it while puking. Jeez, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Just flew too close to the sun. The chocolate milky sun. So what's up? Smashing light bulbs. Did you want to check out the historical stuff? Let's do some smashing light bulbs. Light bulb smashing. One. Come on. Yeah, bitch. Cathartic. Ow. God damn it. Whoosh. Fuck. I forgot he threw his, throws cans, too. Damn it! Damn it! <coughs> I'm trying! It just, I'm whipping it! The ball planet. Blow up the sun. Pretend it's a ghost or whatever. I'm trying. I just keep missing. Ow. That actually hurt. I'm bad at this. Ooh, very bad at this. Oh my god, Greg, I'm going to kick your ass. Hey, what's up? Just saying hello. <coughs> cool. Alright, I'll be back to do the historical society or the park or whatever. Uh, I'm not sure which I want to do first, but I know I want to go say, ah, damn it. I know I, I pushed the wrong button. I know I want to go say hi to B. First, over here. Can I do anything with this? No? Okay. Up the stairs to the roof. Okay. In there. What else is up here? Ah! One of these I haven't opened yet. No idea what that's gonna do. Okay. Let's go in here. Hella birds. Holy shit, that's a lot of birds. Whoa, pentagram. Doesn't prove anything, weird teens. Spooky though.
Um, hello. Hello. I'm May. Sadie. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? I mean, do I need a reason? Exploring. Same way I found it. Did you know this is the only stage in town? Are you the only, are you on stage a lot? Nope, not for a long, long time at least. Looks like no one's played here in a long time. Yeah, I've been a few decades. Are you gonna like put on something here? Oh, I don't think anyone's gonna be putting on anything on here. At least not anytime soon. No electricity, probably structurally unsound. Infested with rats and pigeons. Other than the electricity, that's like most of the town. <laughs> that, is, that it is, that it is. <clears throat> Funny, what? I just met this guy over by the church steps. He was also hanging by himself and playing music. Small world. <laughs> well, small town at least. Definitely. See ya. So we got somebody playing sax, someone playing violin. What's in the news? Yam shortage this Thanksgiving. Ah, oh, geez, we need the yams. Better get them now before they're gone. There's going to be like yam riots because not enough yams. Worse reasons. <laughs> there are worse reasons to riot. True. All right. Let's go talk. Let's go back and talk to that guy with the violin. See if he if I can mention the chick to him or Sadie or whoever I don't want to assume gender just because their name's Sadie <clears throat> nope okay all right let's go talk to B and then we'll either We'll go with either Gregory or his boyfriend. I think it's, I'm thinking his boyfriend first. Hey, B. Hey, May. I think I'm going to burn this place down. Oh, cool. But also, maybe it might have consequences. We could take the insurance money and, like, not do this. What if you got caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. You're going to burn this place down for me. Oh, cool. But also, maybe I'd go to jail? No, you'd have- you have no motive. No one would suspect. So, work's not going well? Uh Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. You want to check out the graveyard? Oh! Spend time with Bay, our Bay B, <laughs> or mm. fuck it. The graveyard. Foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. Spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year round. <clears throat> well, there's the statue. Ooh, also spooky. I thought you were like actually kind of afraid. 
I mean, I am, but like, whatever. So we wait here. Yeah. And a ghost shows up. This isn't dumb. I don't act like this is dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things are like monumentally screwed right now. And no one in power gives a shit. Or they're actively making it worse. Out of spite or profit. Whoa. Jeez. I meant like a skeleton or something. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something, and you make it spookier. All right. How about this? A skeleton in your hallway at night. A regular stranger dude in your hallway at night. Dude! Dude! Be too real! <coughs> He's whispering things, and he's a health insurance industry exec. <laughs> okay. He wants to profit off your sickness and fear. What's he whispering? Complicated fine print. <laughs> B, this isn't fun. And he's a ghost. Thank you. <laughs> the whispering ghost of a um healthcare executive. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is like really, really boring. Oh my God, Beatrice. What, what were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally, no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay, it happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying. When I couldn't get into that the dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool, I'll meet you up back here then. I'll meet up with you back up here then, I think is what she actually said. But I totally butchered that. Let's check out a grave or three. Music's getting a little intense. Hey. Hey. Is this? Yep. Oh. Yep. God, the music's gotten intense. The music is going music-y, y'all. Rose, aged 95 years. Hmm, standard head sewn, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. 95 years, wow. When she was... Hey! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Glad you could make it! <coughs> when she was born, the most high-tech thing were horses. <laughs> she had to, like, look out the window to see a horse. And now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like any horse you could think of. She saw us she saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. I mean, depending on how long ago she died. How are you doing? Catherine Fish, taken by flu at 14. Ah dang. Lived like 14 years. Poor family. Okay, I'm just sad now. Hey. Hey. Evening. Evening. 
what you up to, bud? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Uh, just playing some, just playing some night in the woods. Good for a ghost while my friend visits her mom's grave. You? I'm the grave digger, groundskeeper, what have you. Can we talk shop for a sec? Shoot. Do you dig the graves with a shovel, or do you get spooked out here all by your lonesome? Nah, I work here. How's your week been? Tends to take the spook out of the place. Does job pay well? You thinking about digging graves? Depends on the pay. Not much. Oh. I'm a wedding DJ on the side. Dang! Dang! <laughs> Dang! Friggin' sweet. I will rock you hard. Sounds great, my man. That's good, that's good, that's good. You got any plans this weekend that you're willing to talk about live on the internet? <laughs> oh, see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. Grave guy, career idea, grave digger. Brad Boyson. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a, this guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. He loved his bike. He loved it so hard, he smooched it. So right. Jeez, B. How long does a mom take to visit? How does a mom visit take? That's I can read, I promise. <laughs> TikTok Beatrice, we've got places to be. Holy crap, I am a jerk. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, May. Having a basketball match and a yacht party. Ooh, fancy. Are you playing in the match or just going to watch it? And is it like a friendly game or like a league? Hey. Uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yes. You're playing in it? Awesome! That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill, so I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? It's a league game. Makes sense. That makes sense. Cool, cool, cool. Y'all are gonna get the fucking uh, trophy or whatever it's called. I know sports ball. <laughs> the 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 medal of trophy honor. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love basketball, I love playing basketball, but I don't know much about, like, the official terms of, like, competition and things like that. A part of sinkhole is difficult to understand. We're in a graveyard! They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. I mean, they shouldn't make it where flooding's a problem either, but gestures broadly at Louisiana and New Orleans. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet here we are, exactly. All right, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill and like voices. Huh, that's uh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. Don't get injured again. I hope you don't die there. It's very easy to injure yourself. Make sure you stretch and all that type of stuff, you know? Stretch, warm up, etc. <coughs> oh god, the three three teens. Oh, weary travelers. You seek answers among the dead, but they shall give you none. Ha ha ha, wow. Hey guys, you know these kids? <laughs> yeah, we've met. What are y'all doing? Okay, so we are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass. 
and who shall remain. All right, well, answer us these questions, truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, 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 fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question. Uh, how were you injured before, if you don't mind my asking? Have you ever done it? Done it? You just call it sex! <laughs> We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer! Ooh, what feels right? What feels right is no. Never got around to it. And you? Oh. What? When? <laughs> Nosy. Nosy May Borowski. Summer before 11th grade. Dang, young. Okay. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Ouch. Who? Who did this? <laughs> no Z. No Z. No Z. <laughs> not your business, May. Ugh, you don't know him. Was that map camp? Math camp? What? <laughs> One time at math camp? <laughs> Dang. What is math camp? You go and do like math stuff and camp stuff. And apparently you have lots of sex? It wasn't good. Top notch math though. <laughs> This is boring. Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something like spooky at least? Dream date. <laughs> God damn. These are some nosy ass nerds. Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dress cool, really smart, likes good music. And we go to the movies. Boring. You. Wrestling Like you're gonna wrestle or you're gonna like watch wrestling I could wrestle I don't care if it's a guy or a girl But they'd have to be like grr, Because I don't even want to date someone who's not grr. So you're gonna wrestle this person Yeah, they'd be super super tough and cool And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding <laughs> And then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other our secrets. Fucking <laughs> no. Lateral ankle ligament sprain. Ooh. Ouch. Yeah, hopefully you don't get injured again. Hopefully, you know, just take care of yourself and all that type of stuff. I'm sure you know all the proper stuff. You're the one who is in a league. <laughs> you don't need the you don't need the fat nerd on the internet telling you how to take care of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really sweet. Yes, it is kind of really sweet. It's fucking hilarious, but sweet. Uh, I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? God, teenagers. What? Just go with it. Answer! One time I farted in front of the class. <laughs> That's it. What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Uh, oh god. One time in junior high, one time in high school, or one time in college. Ooh. Go to college. One time in college, there was this cute girl I saw at the cafeteria like a few times a week. I guess our schedules lined up or something. Which is weird about college. It's like a little town. Cut to the chase. Jeez. Okay, so I got up the nerve to talk to her and I, excuse me, and I followed her out into the hallway. And I don't know why, but I shouted, hey! And she turned around and, and, and all I could do was wave. <laughs> Too real. Too fucking real. Oof. This is funny. And, and, and. And then I turned around and tried to walk away all cool. But I ran into this door frame right behind me. 
and it hurt. Then I staggered back and 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 fell into the trash can outside the cafeteria, and my face went into trash spaghetti. Ugh. Could have been worse, but ugh. Holy shit, dude. Continue. And I like flailed until the trash can tipped over, and I got up, and the girl had 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 she watched all of it. And I tried to give her this smile like I'd somehow meant to do that. <laughs> but it turns out I'd swallow some of the trash! Spaghetti! And, and, and I puked all over myself! Oh, God! No wonder you came home! Yeah, I would probably just leave too. <sighs> oh, shut up. Wow, that's messed up. I'm going to throw up. Thanks for nothing. You have come to face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the eff in hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. <laughs> I hate everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man, that was a lot. That was a lot. <laughs> so, like, ghosts. Ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but yeah. So, you know how... You know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams. Because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But like, did you ever see my mom? Ooh. Honestly, I don't think I would know if I saw her mom. I don't think... I don't think I ever saw a crocodile in any of the dreams. I mean, I can't really tell, and I don't think the ghosts were like people. Like, they're not sitting around being ghosts, it's more like echoes. Echoes of shit that happened in people that were here. Oh, uh, trust me, none of the places looked like super much fun. Your mom was rad as hell. Too rad to hang there. <laughs> That's like, I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. Alright, anyway. But the bad news is that we're locked out by that big ass gate. Ugh, why make a giant gate in a graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out and to stop what you're probably gonna do. Um, yeah, we'll never know for sure. All right, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost, I'm just the driver. Fine, hang out, I'll be back. Okay. There's no way I'm going to leave B behind. Ugh, Beatrice, just learn to uh, learn to jump. Not with those scrawny legs, I guess. How do I break that gate open? Oops, missed. There we go. Uh, I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here. And it's getting late. Hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see? I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. I would think! <laughs> so what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna go find some little Joe's grave. And if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does! You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. 
Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, this is him. Ground here is all swampy. Ugh, gross. So what, uh, so what do we do here? Um, I guess I'm gonna just look around. For ghosts? Ugh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing, it's cool. May, I am here for you right now. Sorry you had a t sorry, you had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. Any ghosts over there? No, B. You'd know. I'd say. <laughs> okay, okay. I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. This grave is for a horse, I think? I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. Well, well, imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. Looking to see if there's anything else. Nope, okay. Alright, B. This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something! It's just stupid! He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid! I'm gonna smash his shit up. Oh, whoa, dude. Hold up, no. Wakey, wakey, little Joe. So I can't go back. Okay, that didn't sound right. Oh! Holy shit! Holy shit! What did you do? You were right? About what? I didn't tell you to do that! I... About the sinkholes! We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that... Yeah, that's a coffin. Oh, crap. So, we're gonna open it, right? No, no, we are not going to open a coffin. With a rotting corpse in it. B, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. We got more, uh, Mr. Miranda situation going on here. Jeez, God, we are not doing this. We are leaving. Aren't you kind of curious, at least? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Okay. Okay. I'm ca I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three. So what? Foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals or like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. 
What? So there's someone back there watching us. Oh God. I don't know where they went. Just like out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know, but we need to leave now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone now. Okay, fine, geez. It does look like what the, like what we've been calling the ghost, though. The person in the coat. Well, that was weird, huh? Weird. That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the ghost is a dude? Okay, fine. But he was there. May it was the groundskeeper or something investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. Rise! Saw the effing ghost! We saw someone. There are other people in the graveyard, you know. Ugh, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Skull hole. Little Joe's dang skull. Is this why his spirit wanders? Must he be avenged? Saw him. Okay. Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I am sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. Uh. Just checking to see if there's anything new in here. Doesn't appear to be. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Dude. Hey, hey, hey. How was your speak? Your spook at night? Dude, we went to the cemetery. And we accidentally, like, opened a coffin. It was totally like the corpse of the ghost. Or, you know what I mean. Or, you know what I mean. Whoa. And it was like effing nuts, man. Did you see your ghost? I totally did. Must be on the right track. Dude's probably pissed that you messed with his grave. Oof, you're right. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good job on, like, all of that. You know it, dude. Night as hell. Good night as hell, brah. Good night as hell. Okay, B, what you got? Hey, B, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Hey, sorry I kind of wrecked the cemetery. I know that's not something you normally want to do. It's okay, I know you didn't mean to. I mean, what's a grave defilement or two? <laughs> How about that ghosto? May, seriously, it was the groundskeeper. I thought you believed in ghosts. I do, kinda, I think. Why couldn't that have been a ghost? I just don't assume every person is a ghost. Everyone could be a ghost. Am I a ghost, May? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Just haunting me forever? I'd make you learn how to drive at the very least. But anyway. How could you even make him out? Uh, uh, anyway, it was so foggy. I could tell, okay? I could feel it. Honestly, we're lucky it was so foggy. Or he'd be able to identify us to the police. Ah! Fine, whatever. I'm sorry I made you mad. It's fine, it's fine. Thanks for going with me. I drove, you came with me. Okay, thanks for going. You're welcome. Get some sleep, you need it. I so do. Night, dude. Night.
Bedtime. Yes. Crimes! Lovely crimes. Hello, hello, and welcome, welcome. Oh, that's not unnerving. I go up? No? Okay. Hello? Can you talk? Yes. <clears throat> yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Are you God? No. Oh. So, seconds ago, little creatures are coming and they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is, and they are telling me, and I am not this God, and this God is nowhere. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith, and moments ago is the beginning. And I am here then, and here now, and there is nowhere for God to be hiding. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were like bits of the world. Think, I think I was on a train? but it was like a town it's all like i don't ugh, i lost it okay so a great beast is walking through the sands and they are climbing into the air and now they are making a tear and now they are gone and now you are here a tear with their hooves. They are making a tear or tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air and they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I'm going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea and beyond are things blind and terrible and i am showing you now yeah this is fine Ugh. oh god oh god they are blind but they are seeing you and you are coming to them after this you are not returning here i am climbing into the air and closing the sky why 
I am tired of speaking with little creatures. I am tired of speaking of God. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars, I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it. Not even the things beyond. And now, there is only the whole. So, does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about trees in the fall? What about the leaves? Bare existence, meaning nothing. You are atoms, and your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. End is moments away. There is no time to forget before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. So Cthulhu exists. Cthulhu exists. I have looked into the void and the void has looked into me. Let's play some bass. But which song? Um, no, not Space Dragon. Die anywhere else. Weird Autumn. TikTok. Let's do tick. Let's try TikTok again. That's the new one. Oop. I suck at this. Oops. 
Oh, I'm bad at that. Not bad, considering I don't know how to play the song. Ooh, I got the journal, though. <laughs> Charity Barity is a nightmarity. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Anything new in here? There are those three weird teens. Okay. Uh... All right, so I've got that one. I've got that one. Weird Autumn. Tiktok. Pumpkinhead guy. Nope. Oh. Nah, later. Maybe. Alright. Check the Facebooks. Uh, we'll check Angus first. Away message. Planets are meant to, are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, Gregory. What you got for me? Hey, dude. At the old Snalkin. Snalkin! Yes! Snalkin! Come save me from boredom supreme! Sincerely, Gregory. Morning at the pickaxe if you're in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. We'll check the crawl space again. Because I'm convinced that there's going to be something else in here someday. And I'm going to miss it if I don't check the crawl space constantly. Bird. Burb. I kind of get you now. All like trapped and shit. I should let you out. Nah. Bless this mess. Hey, Ma! I'm sorry I didn't go to the thing with you yesterday. I didn't realize that it was a, if you say no now, you'll never be able to do it again. Honey, you okay? Ugh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No! Oh, honey. Is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You were a miracle, baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then there were you. Then you. Then there you were. English. I can read. I promise I can read. And here I am now. So, if you're pregnant, I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else, please? Sure. Silence. <laughs> you know, if you did have a baby. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry. I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. Can we go on the, the adventure you wanted? If it was a boy, you could name him Calvin. Oh God, mom. If it was a girl, you could name her Trash Baby Cordelia. Why don't I, why don't I just have the baby and hand it to you? Woo. Okay, bye, I'm leaving. Her mom is such a mess. Alright, what's
what's out here. Anything out here today? backflip sorry that was that was rude all right nothing out here at least nothing new Sorry, just a second. Okay. Summers! Hey, May. You alright? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like... You went through the dryer. On the wrong setting. <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You wanna hear a poem cheer you up? Sure. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is too short. Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Selmers. They cheer you up. They did. Yay! Chazakov's up there again. He ever, like, dropped that telescope? Oh no, he'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He is hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in this. Selmers. Eh. They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. Bad weather coming soon. I feel it in my bones. Okay. Hey, Chazakov! Chazakov's gun. Alright, up here, then over here. Anything to look at or talk to? Nope, okay. We. Ah, damn, I missed. And I missed again. So it jumped way too soon. There we go. Nay! Hey! Mr. Jezikov! You look a bit worse for wear today, May! Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars. You know it. Come have a look. <laughs> All right. Oh, that one. I think I got one. Let's see. Yeah. Cole. Knew a guy named Cole once. That's close. It is. So what's up with this guy? Cole was from a flat land. The Midwest. Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from was. Every place has a Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't this a common instinct? To seek that which that which is unlike where one grows up? Yeah. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like, they move there because it's got stuff. And there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks, though. Not everyone can just up and leave. <laughs> when I left my country, I felt the same thing. But I have not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It is beautiful in ways, perhaps invisible, to those who have seen it every day of their lives. So what happened to Cole? Or Call? Probably Call. He returned home. I complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds, and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. One. Gotcha. Ooh, which one is this? Dina Ostra. You know this one. Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake and she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adina stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her? Yeah. How she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth, where her stars were no longer over her head, and how she was never seen again. Yeah, whatever. Is that not a sad ending? No, disappearing isn't the same as dying. She probably went somewhere else completely and did all kinds of cool shit. Oh my! Yeah, so, whatever. Oof! That's all for the day. That was nice. Pretty sweet, the stars, I mean. I am in agreement. Paul and Dina. Well, well. The stars! Yep. May, you should go home and get in bed. Nah. At least come down through the house, so you don't break your neck falling off the roof. I'm good. I will watch you go, and call the ambulance if needed. Thanks, that's really nice. Least I can do. Yay! Are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. Safer. Safer? Yeah, like the buddy system. Safety in numbers. You're a little paranoid, you know that? Kid, you don't even know. Anyone hear anything about anyone here around here missing? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. She hasn't been on since Harfest. Okay, well, I think we might need a bit more than that. Okay. Is she from here? I could ask my aunt. Some place called Mulvey? Mul- Mulvey? You know someone from Mulvey? Yeah. Do you know where Mulvey is? Do you know what Mulvey is? No. I heard about Mulvey. My dad drives a bread truck. 
Mulvey used to be one of his stops. What happened? He don't stop there no more. They had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. What's Mulvey? I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. It'll be fine. We're just, we'll just drive through. I need to go back in the sun. Go get back in the sun now. What's Mulvey? Or Mulvey. Okay, nothing up this way. to the church. All right, let's see if Mama let us go now. But let's talk to Bruce first. I think I give him a different voice every time. Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you. And I'm sorry I caused her trouble. But I'm not worth her worth throwing away her job. She's the pastor after all. Folks need her. Are you leaving? Yep. Yeah. Gonna hop a train tonight. Headed east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no man again. <laughs> Sit on my daughter's front porch. Watch my grandbabies play in the yard. They'll all be there. Gonna get off that train. My kids are gonna be there. They'll have a sign they made. Nothing fancy. Poster board and markers. Welcome home, Dad. And I'll be home. Sounds great, Bruce. He's going to commit suicide. Yep, yep. Thanks for talking to me. It was nice to get to know you. You too, Bruce. Going to miss you. We'll all meet again. I hope so. Hope's important. It's the last thing you got. You take care of yourself. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should have ever got to. But I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, May. He's gonna off himself. Like, I can feel it in my bones. Alright, nothing down here. He just told her what he told her so that th she wouldn't worry. I think he's gonna go kill himself. So that they wouldn't feel bad, you know? Because there will be children here. And this is a historic church. That's half empty. That's your job to fix, not ours. The population drain in this region. You have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space and we have people who need space. We have resources and we have poverty and not in some far off place or some big city. Right here, right across the street. Katie, it's our number one job right now to bring businesses into town. Businesses mean jobs and jobs mean people. We have to do what we can to get the attention of the market and having a half dead church 
stacked full of bums? Thanks for your time. We'll see you for your the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Katie. You have a, lo a good heart, Kate. Thank you for uh, thank you all for coming. Ugh, stressful day. Some days you need grace more than others. Was this all, was this all about Bruce? It was. Is. Whatever. It's out of our hands now. But there are better hands than mine. Hmm. Anyway, how are you, May? Eh. Eh. Sounds serious. I guess. So, like, things have been rough lately. I can see that. What seems to be the trouble? I think I met God. What? It was a dream, but God talks to us that way, right? Sure. Can you tell me about it? It's in this desert as far as I could see. Where like all that was left of the world were bits of wood and sand. I was wandering through it, but I was like drawn to something. And I came up over this, what do you call a hill made of sand? A dune. Yeah, a dune. And there was God just sitting there up on another hill or dune, whatever. Just hanging out. Yeah. Seemed like they were really into just hanging out. Did they say anything? Yeah. They like didn't care. They didn't care if you were there. No, I mean, they didn't care in general. They went on and on about how annoyed they were that people kept coming to them with questions and annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing and it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about this giant hole in the center of everything, growing. Sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? Yes. I had this problem when I was in high school, and I did something really bad. You probably heard about it. Your mom has mentioned it. Yeah, I figured. Well, since then, there's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years. Since, well, just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. I don't think I believe in God anymore. If you want the truth, I think everyone doesn't believe in God. For at least a few minutes a day. Oof, that hit hard. Oh, I felt that. Hmm, faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and go and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a God? Like, literally someone up there listening? Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. On my best days, I think I do. But there are times where I don't. But, but you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure? It's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? Stand up there and tell people to believe in something you don't 100% believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, May. And maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally of how much I believed that week. But who would that help? You're a pastor. And you can't tell me whether it's not, whether or not God is up there. Whether anyone is watching. Anyone who gives a shit. No, but... Then what is the point of you? I have to go. Okay. I wish it would give me the option to tell her what Bruce said before tomorrow, because I really am concerned. Hey, hon. Are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hon. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Come on, son. Come on, Sunday. It's full then. I bet it is. 
Sorry you have to work because we have money problems. May, I've always had a job. This is just another one. Gotta get back to work, sweetie. See ya, mommers. Later, daughters. I wish it would let me go on the adventure she wanted to go on. That I missed because I didn't realize it would be a permanent no thank you. still up here still up here I mean I left and went to work and so forth since we met hmm is that a fiddle it's a violin that's like the same thing right it's a violin I assure you I just met someone else playing by themselves really yeah across town in the abandoned building by the sil by the click clack they had one of those big saxophones hmm I just thought it was an interesting coincidence small town yeah, you gotta find entertainment somehow. Oops, missed. Let's go in and see the rat babies! store this time who lives here it's like just a room one fridge one dresser one lamp one bed one window one door I guess that makes two ways out this would be creepy if it wasn't so spooky whoever lives here is certainly a churchgoer five saints grandmama had it set up like this last time I saw her Icons are good for keeping the good in, and the bad out. This is the super important info I retained from years of Sunday school. If in the end Grandmama died while the saints watched, it was time. And they weren't saints anyway, they were pictures. Pour one out for Grandma. I could hide in here until whoever lives here gets back, and possibly give them a heart attack. Or get shot in the face with a gun. What am I doing in here? What am I doing with my life? I'm just sitting in a stranger's closet in a nearly vacant building. I could just stay in here. Just forever be here forever. Where does this person pee? Dark in here. They probably, honestly, May, they probably pee in the closet. Kid, what you up to? Hey, adult, nothing. Sounds good. I was gonna go down to the tracks. You want? Did you want to come? Sounds good, actually. Oh, good, good, good. Let's go. Totally, let's. Wow, been a while since I've been here. My house is like three minutes from here. Got the longest night lights from last year still up. Haha, <laughs> someone on my street does that too. We got pumpkins last year and we left them out too long and they like liquefied. Oh yeah, I remember that happened with ours one year. My mom was so mad at my dad. It was his job to get rid of them. 
He had to like mop it up. I've seen like a time lapse video of when a corpse decays and like everything liquefies. We're all goo deep down. Yup. Okay, so like a cool thing to do is squish a metal thing on the tracks. Like, I like that a lot. Cool. I brought a little metal dude. Let's see what happens. Sounds good, kid. I come out here at night sometimes and fall asleep between the tracks. Sounds dangerous. I feel excited and I can sleep. Do you ever have that? Where you're so excited you go to sleep? I have stress dreams if I'm too keyed up. I don't remember my dreams. Girl, you're gonna wanna get your. You guys are gonna wanna get your feet off the fucking rails. Sometimes I fall asleep for like five minutes, but sometimes it's for like an hour. That's some risky business there. Bruh. I have weird thoughts. Like, sometimes I want to go to sleep in the woods or in the basement of an abandoned house during the day and only come out at night and be like a monster. And like beautiful. Those are like really attainable dreams. <laughs> oh, haha. Ha. I'm not beautiful. Oh, you're fine. No one your age likes how they look. I am objectively gross. Way less gross than I was. Do you think? Guaranteed. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. Whoa. Yay. Your little metal guy is all, wow. He represents the human soul. This is important art. <laughs> well, I gotta get rolling. Okay, 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 okay. Let's roll. Laters. I really wish that I had been doing stuff like this from the get-go. I didn't realize that all of the, uh... Option... Not all of the options would end the day, you know? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Just stuff. You want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oof. What are you up to today? <laughs> Whatever you want to do. Or wandering around town. Ah. With the bay answer. Proximity. I know I have investigation stuff I want to do, but I like I prefer hanging out with the bay <laughs> with the bay. What kind of party is this? Um a Jackie party? What's a Jackie party? You remember Jackie? Yeah, she hates me. Yeah, she's intense. She's serious about serious stuff. She's a lot of fun otherwise. Didn't Jackie have like a one woman band? Yeah. Trans world order, give them hell. Twoogs. Yeah, it's actually really great. She's got a great scream. I'm sold. 
Twoogs. Hey, B, say it. Say Twoogs. 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 Anyway. This is a party. And Jackie invited me. Look at you! All going to secret parties and shit? They're not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invite you. You are now invited. Woo! Okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so... Jeez, this better be some party. Jackie parties are worth the trip. I think I went here once. In Girl Scouts. To see some sort of longest night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Why'd you start talking to me? I was new in town, and you seemed cool. That's it? You were smart and fun. What am I now? You know, fun. <laughs> Cold, but fair. It's like super shitty that you keep saying I'm not smart. I'm sorry, I'm mostly kidding. Mostly. You are not smart either. I was valedictorian of our class. I think that means anything in the real world. Sorry. Sorry. All right, let's go. Kind of nervous about this. Stay close, all right? Nothing to be scared of down there, just a party. Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey, Jackie. Hey, B. Oh, weird. It's May. Hey, Jackie. You brought May? Yeah, is that okay? Sorry, just a second. I have a hangnail that's been bothering me. There we go. Got it. All right. Yeah, is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. Come on in. It's a good one. Is it like dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Okay. Papa Tease. That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at the party. <laughs> right. You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. Do you think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. We can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists. <laughs> hey. Hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor. Couple of born and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up. We're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him. He's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye, boys. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. Okay, fine. You guys wanna dance? Yeah! Can you dance, May? Can, like, anyone here dance? I mean, fair? By this, by that, I would say no. Guys are back over there. Oh, oh yeah. 
Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance. I never knew. I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away with an eye shot and I'll watch you. Don't drink anything any someone gives you. B, I know. No, seriously, if any, B, I'll be fine. Let's go, she'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. I love how she's just vibing out there, you know? Oh shoot, I can infect the dancing. <laughs> Twerk, twerk it up. Dancing is easy. What's the big fuss? Okay, we got two people to talk to there. And them. Let's go talk to the two weirdos first. To this one first. Psst. Hey there. The wise kitten focuses not on the wit that which is lost, but on all that remains. Okay. Wow. You just hanging out in the back of the party, dishing out wisdom. All right. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Have a good one. Hey you. Hey you do i know you no what's your name bruh samantha stevenson samantha i like it sounds like a magic spell you found me out it was magic now you're good and hexed wow so what's your story samantha stevenson grad student studying uh, vampires and I play bass. Wow, that's interesting. Yep, vampire science. What does that entail? Fang measurement. Being up all night. Going to a lot of goth dork parties. That's why I'm here tonight. There aren't a lot of goth dorks here. I know, total bust. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I guess. I guess I'm so used to awesome stuff that I'm pretty cool in most situations. Oh, really? Hey, give me your hand. Uh, all right. Oh, wow. Secret handshake. Wow. <laughs> wow. It worked. Wow, okay. Okay, I should go find my friends. Let her know I'm over here. Oh yeah, you should. Samantha. <laughs> Hexed again. Boom. <laughs> I'll be here. Wow, okay. Be right back. There's another pentagram. Run the fuck away, May. Hey, B. Oh, hey, May. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Your friend B is pretty cool. Ah, uh, she's okay. Did she tell you we saw a skeleton last night? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like Memento Mori and shit. I'm not gonna read that. You're laughing a lot. <laughs> Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. 
<laughs> well, a book you liked? I used to be a big reader. And then I got bored with books. My granddad used to read to me before he got dementia and died. And that's how you ruin a party. <laughs> Sorry about your granddad. It's okay, it was years ago. B's mom is dead too. Ah! Oh! Yo! That is exactly how you ruin the vibe at a party! Do you, do you think May's doing it on purpose to ruin the vibe? Because she doesn't like that B's flirting with the guy? I think that's what is happening here. B's mom is dead too. <laughs> May! May stop! I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring when my house exploded because there was a gas leak from when my dad hit a line trying to dig up the dog we had before that because we were going to move and dad said he had to come with us. That's a roller coaster. Wow. So Chris, what are you majoring in? Poli sci. Oh, that's cool. Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be a pre be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. That's like that's interesting because <laughs> whoa whoa. Check out rich kid over here. You're gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting. B B, check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm. Yeah. Well, I bagged groceries. Okay. <laughs> Me? Do you want to dance some more? Oh. After playing for a while, what do I recommend? Keyboard or controller? Um. Thank you for the first time chat, by the way. Nice to see you. Thanks for popping in. What do I recommend keyboard or controller for this game specifically? Honestly, either is fine. Um, I feel like it depends on what you're most used to. Um, like me personally, I'm the most used to keyboard, but with this game, it, yeah, it depends on what you're the most used to. Um, there are some sections I think might be a bit easier with um, a controller rather than the keyboard. Like there's some rhythm action, uh, rhythm action sections, like Guitar Hero type shit, that um, that I think might be easier with a controller rather than a keyboard. But other than that, the large majority of the gameplay isn't doesn't rely that heavily on like controller or keyboard in my opinion at least not with what we've been up to so far um a lot of it's just walking around and clicking on things or uh, and interacting with things you know um there doesn't seem to be any kind of there's not much in the way of like reflex based stuff or anything like that outside of the rhythm action sequences um, where you're playing like the bass guitar on this game in this game and stuff um, <clears throat> now there is a mini game where you're playing kind of like an old style top-down Zelda style game called Demon Tower and that <sighs> again I with that I, I think bottom line is just for all of it is whatever you're the most used to you know um because even with the demon tower game uh mini game it would uh i'm not noticing i'm not finding myself wishing oh i wish i had a controller or something like that you know um the only sections i've been finding myself wondering if it would be easier with a controller 
is the the rhythm sections where you're playing the, where May is playing the bass guitar. Um, but I am not an expert on that. And so I just largely feel like it's a uh, whatever whatever you're the most used to, you know? Um, like I have a uh, I have a PC PS3 controller that I've used for some stuff. Um, for like some of my streams and uh, I could use that for this if I wanted to but I'm not finding it I'm not feeling like I need to pull it out and be like ugh this section okay you know like even with the rhythm sections it doesn't feel like that <coughs> I hope that answered your question sufficiently nah I'm good you sure you don't want to go dance? Yeah, my parents own their own business, so... Ooh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Want to go across the street and get some pizza? Why does this guy who's just asked her about pizza feel like the kind of guy who'd refer to pizza as za? You want to go get some za? Let's go get some za. <laughs> I could eat, and it's a small business. You'll speak their language. Get us free slices. B doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Hey, Cody, let me tell you about Beatrice Centello. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. Thanks, man. It's because I'm going to play and he wants advice. Yeah, fair. That's fully fair. That's fully fair. I'm glad I... Uh... I will say that there are going into it there are here let me let me swap over for this going into it there are some things that i wish i knew ahead of time uh not everything so like there are some conversation the main part of the game is you're wandering around the town talking to people uh you want to do things every day that are available so you'll want to check every little nook and cranny every single day to see if anything's different um because you might miss some like lore or storytelling but if that's not your stick that's okay you know do it how you play it how you want but um the uh the um the thing i wish i'd known going into it was that not all of the offers to hang out at the end of the day end that day um and the ones that don't end the day if you're like nah not right now and you're because you're thinking oh i'll just come back and talk to you later after i've checked other things out then you've lost that opportunity entirely an example is a couple of in-game days ago i uh, uh, the character's mother may's mother uh offered to go on an adventure with may but I was like, I wanted to check out the rest of the church. So I figured if I just said, nah, not right now, I could come back and after I explored a little bit and um, then I could do it. However, when I said, nah, not right now, that ended that conversation entirely. And I can't go back and have that adventure with the mother now. Um, <clears throat> and... So, like, I just keep that in mind when playing, basically, is all I have, is what I'm saying. Um, like, in the end, play it how you want. Like, if you don't want to go on the adventure with your mother or whatever, that's fine. But uh, just keep in mind that if you turn some things down, you won't be able to come back and pick them and try them again another time. Um... trying to think if there's any other advice i have honestly not really just uh enjoy the ride kind of i guess you know because this game is a trip um i've really enjoyed it so far anyway let's get back to it super smart and responsible she runs like the biggest store in possum springs <laughs> May, no. What even is Possum Springs? It's west in the mountains. 
while rich kid over here is studying politicians or whatever. B's out in the real world. Not like you college kids. May. What? <laughs> I can hear the nervous laughter in my head. I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. Me and I basically run Possum Springs, except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah, I got a problem with that. Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow County? Wasn't that like two hours away? No, I, uh, why would you do that? Hey, Rick, be here, drove in from Deep Hollow. Are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I'm, <laughs> oh, B. Poor B. I mean, that was really cruel of me to do, but also, like, I kind of get it, and yes, it was my choice to be cruel like that. <laughs> B, wait. What was that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God knows where. If something happens to her, I will personally punch your teeth out. Okay, geez. All right, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down towards the river. We find her, make sure she's okay and meet back here. Okay, oh God, okay. Back in school, I always told B that you were an asshole. And I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you, B? The roofs can get to the river real... Uh, can get to the river quick, quick, ugh, quick on the roofs. Okay, can I... No, I can't go that way, okay. Hey, move. What? Move it, goth dorks. No. I need to get up on the roof. You are not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pizza place parking lot. You cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm gonna run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? I wanna, wanna find out, citizen. I'm gonna call the cops. You don't move right now. I'm gonna probably make you eat this entire car and I can do it. I'd like to see you try. Last person I hurt physically, I hurt him very, very badly physically. Seriously, I'm about to, you're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't move. Hope you break your spine. <laughs> I mean, fair, fair. Oh shit. B! There you are. Are you all right? Why did you run? It's like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town. You don't even know what... This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal for like two hours a month. This is normal? 
This is a bunch of dorks in a basement. College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this, ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? <laughs> this is so freaking sad. I think like obsessively about going to college. Like really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already is like my wildest fantasy. <coughs> You have a life. No, I don't. I have obligations. I have a routine. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown. And the bills from my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in, gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment. As my dad wastes away, like any idea I had of the future, this big bright thing just gets smaller and darker every time I wake up from a dream about nights like tonight. And you can't get that through your thick effing skull. I had no idea about any of this. How? How could you not know this? I work hard and I take care of what's left of my family and my life is slipping away and I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store. In that stupid town, I'm just doomed. You're not the only person stuck here, you know. You gave up the thing I can't have. I kind of hate you. I can't not hate you for that a little. You don't know why I had to leave. Well, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever ask, even asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh, right. So why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit going on this past week? Ghosts and shit? I met God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Ah. Look. We're both trapped, but we're trapped together. I'm trying to figure out if that song is Die Anywhere Else, and I think it is. Better to be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry about, like, it's okay. We're like the best available friends. <laughs> oh god. What river is this? Red winder. All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors, and the river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. But like, actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't like stuck together in the same town like we were stuck together in Girl Scouts like uh, is this just what's the word proximity yeah I don't know I honestly don't my entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving away into the distance while I stay in the same place and I guess proximity counts for a lot like right now hmm proximity Stuck in a basement together, again. This crazy old basement we call life, Beatrice. Thanks, that's uplifting. Wanna go back to the party? Nah. We can come to another one sometime. I learned to talk good. I swear I won't screw it up. Well, you've done it once, so you should know how to not do it again. B. You should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I am like more embarrassing than you will ever be. You are like stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big as, you're not as big a total idiot as I act like you are. <laughs> I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you're a genuinely good person. 
I'll take it. You know what the Fort Lucene Fish Fountain would say? What? Beatrice Santello. We should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh, wow. A revelation from God. The good God. The fake one. Crap. I didn't get her info. Who? The super cute girl I met at the party? We did a secret handshake. Is that a euphemism? Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay, you... Let's go home. <laughs> home again, home again. <laughs> oh, I love it. Bombshell. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Oh, wow. Are you okay? No. Okay. So what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're going to have to start talking sometimes, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? Where do we even start? It's just... I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see ghost. Ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real. And I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. And where is it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight. But like, everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. And that's not even counting the money problems. Yeah. Money problems make everything worse, I know it. And I can't do anything about it. I don't even know if I could hold down a job. And how am I ever going to survive? And, and, and... Shh, kitten. Take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Aloy. Garbo! Ever think about, ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is! <laughs> Why, Garbo? Do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. <laughs> These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they didn't in they hadn't invented religion yet. <laughs> you were making it up as you went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Malloy, but it would be it would but it would be a wappa. Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. Ain't nothing like a good seance. Absolutely. Hey, Yvonne, good to see you. How was your stream? May's life is falling apart. Like every millennial in real life. Also, tell me why my brain is just like, ain't nothing like a good seance. <laughs> it's all right. Finally feeling like I don't want to throw it in the trash. That's good. That's good. Maybe one more. Which song? 
Cycles is new. Let's do Cycles. That song, you know, that song. How's the millennial on wheat? Lord fucking knows. Zen, right? If I could be better at the damn song. Not bad, because then I don't know how to play this song. And now we have the new thing. Okay. Uh, let's check this. All right. Let's see what Gregory says. Hey, kid! Went to a party, danced at a party, ran around in the rain, met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, I'd party again. We need to do more parties. You are very right. All right, I'm off to bed. Laters. Hey, you. Hey, me. Aw. I am so tired for tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way? Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really take it out of you. That's like really, that's really nice, May, that you did that. Oh, it wasn't nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. Me at my friends. <laughs> I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. <laughs> Wrong button. I can think of worse fits. Aww. Friendship. Wrong button. All right. I'm actually going to be calling it here because it's after 10 o'clock. Um, the bedtime thing is the best time to call it in the, to call it in the game. But, uh, Oh shit, we still have a dream!
Yeah, we'll do the dream and then we'll call it. Oh, no dream tonight! Hey! Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, also, I absolutely love that the things I picked out of the trash are in her room now. Because, like, we've got the tuba over by the mirror and the axe next to the mirror. <coughs> and the uh, PS flag at the top above her head. And the little monkey looking coconut thing uh, next to the base. Those were all things I picked out of the trash earlier. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, and I hope uh, I hope you all have had a great week. I hope you all have a great weekend ahead of you. Um, I'll see you all on Monday. Um, before we head out, though, you should check out these amazing people I have listed up here. I have even more recommendations in my link tree right there. Um, also in my link tree, you, you will find a link to my socials, my Discord, my uh, Instagram, etc. <coughs> also, you'll find a link to my YouTube, where if you missed these streams and you want to catch them, you know, for free without having to subscribe to me on Twitch, that is where you can do that, because uh, all my streams go up on video on demand a week after I stream them. They all go up on YouTube for free for a week after I stream them. Um, or you can subscribe to me here and get them immediately. Um, but if you if you do want to if you do want to give me money, but you don't want to uh, if you do want to support me financially, but you don't want to subscribe to me through Twitch for one reason or another, uh, you can join that Patreon link right there uh, for a dollar a month. You can you can subscribe and uh, help me continue my content creation and all of that. Um, but. Uh, yeah, do I have anything else I want to say? Nope, we'll be back on Monday with uh, a, more Assassin's Creed stuff. Um, sorry, my nose is itching. Um, so yeah, until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you, and I will see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.